Let's have a chat with someone who knows all about pointless media outrage, mental health campaigner and friend of the show, Natasha Devon MBE, who this week happened to mention that it might be nice if schools didn't constantly reinforce gender stereotypes by banging on about boys and girls all the time. The world, of course, went mad with lurid headlines across the media, social media outrage and self-appointed conscience of the nation, Piers Morgan. I'm afraid this is the way it's all going, isn't it? You can't call girls, girls, boys, boys, nothing. But she remains Ms Devon. Don't worry. People carry on saying Yeah, let's go like. to the weather person. <laughs> well, what are you identifying as today? Hi, Natasha. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to News Thing. Thank you. Uh, what a week you've had. Uh, it sounds like a nightmare. The comments everyone picked up on in your speech were a tiny section of, of course, a much wider speech you were making to the Girls' School Association Conference. Were you ready for the backlash? I wasn't until I was taken into a very small room after my hour-long speech about children's mental health, and there were a number of journalists there, and they kept saying, can we go back to the part where you talked about offending transgender children, which, let's be clear, I never said. Right. And that's when I thought, oh, OK, first of all, they've completely misinterpreted what I've said. Second of all, there's an agenda here. Mm. And I, I, I really should have said, I, I wanted to, but I didn't. I, should, I wanted to say, why are you so obsessed with transgender people? Because it seems to me that when, when the press report on transgender issues, they talk about it as though everybody's really obsessed with it and, and we're um, kind of enforcing it on other people. But actually, that's what they're doing, yeah. it seems to me. Is it, is it an issue that affects a very small part of society, like a minuscule almost part of society, and yet the press really do report on this almost on a daily basis, don't they? It, it's yeah. an obsession. And to be clear, I was talking about gender stereotyping, and I was saying how, you know, for some people, when they hear the word girl, for example, they've got really positive associations with that. For other people, they think girls can't do certain things or they should be like this. So I was saying in a learning environment, it's not useful to keep using the word girl when children are trying to learn. I think it's far more useful to say to, to a child, be the best person you can be mm. rather than be the best girl or the mm. best boy because that comes with kind of invisible expectation mm. that's what i said and mm. then somehow that got turned into offending transgender children yeah it's not how it was reported and it wasn't just tweaked it was really twisted i mean it, it was really lies some of the reporting wasn't mm. it it was, it was what what's called nowadays fake news i mean what's the agenda there um, I think that the agenda is to kind of push people's outrage buttons and to create clickbait. I mean, it, and it did precisely that. But um, what I think is really unfortunate is that I was trying to have what I think is a really necessary conversation about how we can create environments in schools where children can learn, flourish, and have their mental health needs looked after. That's been completely derailed because now everyone's focusing on what I didn't say. Mm, nuanced conversations aren't popular right now, though, no. are they? What do you make of people like Piers Morgan, who wanted you on the show, who ranted about it without you there, mm. then you were invited on GMB to talk about it? I mean, he bangs on about this sort of thing day after day. Why? He does this. He appeals to people's kind of very base instincts, I think, and, and gets, gets everybody really worked up. But it's not a discussion or a useful conversation in any way. Mm. So he creates a non-existent argument. Right. And then wins it. Yeah. <laughs> Which, well yeah, done, we could, mate. We, we could all do that. Yeah. Yeah. That there is great journalism. <laughs> it's little wonder he rose so high. Um, does it ever get tough to wake up in the morning and think, I'm going to take more slings and arrows here for, just for saying things that are supposed to improve young people's lives? Everything that I say is based on going into three schools every single week all over the UK and listening to young people. And because they are having challenges around gender and identity and what it means, I have taken those concerns into account when I'm then feeding that back to educators. Keep up fighting the good fight. Don't be cowed, because there's more people behind you. It's only the nutters who, who speak out, a noisy minority. Thanks so much for joining us again.